been it since a toddler. I keep dollars on my head. Been a real one is my motto. Hell, my problems I ain't scared. Yo, welcome back, Pacer Nation, Pacer Station fans everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Now today I got a very, 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 very important video for you all. Uh, as we all have heard the news, uh, Nate Bjorkgren has been hired as the Indiana Pacers head coach. Uh, let's get straight into it, guys. Uh, my initial reaction to this hire, of course, was who the hell is that? Um, hopped on Twitter, did a little bit of research, saw people's initial reactions. Um, everybody wanted Chauncey. Everybody wanted a big name. Everybody wanted a D'Antoni or a, or a, even a, a what's his name, Finch, um, Chris Finch or whatever his name is. And um, yeah, Dan Craig. A lot of people expected Dan Craig maybe, but uh, Nate Bjorkgren, a uh, one of Nick Nurse's assistants over in Toronto, has been named uh, the head coach. Now, what does this mean for the Pacers as a, a team and an organization? Now, from what I've heard, I watched Bjorkgren's press conference this morning. Uh, I watched. I saw a lot of people around the league talking about it. I, I even heard Nurse talk about it himself. Uh, the hiring. Uh, this is basically another Nick Nurse, from what from what I'm hearing. Um, can adapt to to a lot of modern basketball uh, styles. Uh, we'll leave that for Coach Day to talk about whenever he comes back on here. I'm thinking the next video I drop, but this is just the initial reaction video. Uh, but I love the hire from what I've seen. Um, I love the hire and what it sounds like from Kevin Pritchard. Uh, when he introduced Bjork Grin today at the press conference, um, he said himself that uh, Bjork Grin sat down and showed, kind of showed Pritchard and the uh, Pacers family what he would do uh, as coach. And basically, was kept. He, he said that he kept having a response for everything uh, Pritchard said because Pritchard used to coach, as some of us know. Um, and he said that he said Bjork Grin had a response and an answer for everything. He said every time he said, uh, every time Pritchard would say, "But this." Uh, Bjorkman would say, well, he can do this, and then, or this could happen, or this could happen. So uh, we've needed a coach like that after having Nate McMillan for so long, a stagnant, old-school uh, kind of coach, not no real uh, explosiveness. From what, it, from what it sounds like, um, there's a lot of aggression in Bjorkman's style of play, um, a lot of uh, aggressive offense, aggressive defense, uh, something we have not been accustomed to uh, with Nate McMillan. So... Um, what does it mean for the organization? I think it means that we're, we're I mean, we're, we're taking a chance, uh, first and foremost. My, my initial reaction is, yes, we are taking a chance. He has never been a head coach except for in the G League uh, after Nick Nurse coached them for four years, and he was an assistant for Nick Nurse for four years uh, for a G League team. Uh, not sure what they're called. Don't feel like looking it up right now, but um, yeah, and then basically came up to Toronto with Nurse as one of Nurse's assistants. Uh, something to look out for. A few things to look out for now that Bjorkgren has been hired. First and foremost, Victor Oladipo, uh, from what I'm hearing in Pacers Circle, wants to stay. From what? From what? But, but you know, I say that, and tomorrow I'll wake up, get on Twitter, and it'll probably be him on Instagram Live saying, yeah, I've been wanting to get out of here for years, man. So you never know with Vic. I mean, he is literally the most bipolar basketball player I've ever met when it comes to knowing if he wants to stay where he's at or not. Uh, but I will welcome him back with open arms as a fan. Me personally, I love Victor Oladipo. I think he uh, can be the heart and soul of a team. Um, would like it to be here in Indiana, but if he doesn't want to be here, I don't want him here. But if he does want to be here, I want him here. So hopefully Bjorkgren, uh, apparently he already contacted, or he's already been in contact with Vic. Uh, Vic said he, or Bjorkgren said he appreciates Vic's enthusiasm or something like that. But they've already been in contact, so hopefully we'll see what happens there. But if... Um, another thing to look out for now that Bjorkman has been hired. If Victor Oladipo does end up, if we do end up trading him or uh, something of that nature, I've been hearing, um, well, I, Mark Monteith was the first person I saw say something about it on Twitter. Uh, we had him on for an interview a few weeks ago. Go watch that interview if you haven't. A lot of great Pacers info in that interview. But uh, Mark Monteith said something about Fred Van Vliet. Now, Fred Van Vliet would be an interesting fit here. Uh, if we wanted to move Malcolm to shooting guard and put Van Vliet at point guard, while I, I think it might make Malcolm a little unhappy, um, I mean, I would love to have a guy like Fred Van Vliet. Fred Van Vliet. He definitely fits the Pacers, uh, fits the Pacer, the Pacer mold. You know, just the guy that wants to come in and play and get get the job done along with Malcolm. So, uh, I personally want Malcolm Brogdon to be our point guard going into the future. I love Malcolm as a player, and I want to do everything to keep him happy. But I would not be mad if we did pick up Fred Van Vliet, as long as we know. Uh, Brogdon will stay happy with that acquisition. Just a little thing to think about because we do know um, Bjorkman was in Toronto with Nurse and Van Vliet, I believe, is a free agent this offseason. Uh, we'll see what happens there. And he fits the mold of a pacer, as I said. 
Um, what does this mean for Pacers fans? I think it means everything for us. I think we finally have something to be excited about. I mean, if this guy's anything like Nurse, Nurse has been in Coach of the Year talks for the last for, ever since he, he took over for uh, took over for Dwayne Casey over there in Toronto. So, um, if he's anything like Nick Nurse, which is what I've been hearing, he's he's basically a Nurse clone. Um, but that's what that's what they've been saying. That's what the reporters and such have been saying. He's a Nurse clone. If he is a Nurse clone, like the rumors have been saying, we have a lot to be excited about. We have not had a coach uh, with that much excitement. In, in their play style, I, I, I know he's very good when it comes to modern basketball. I believe he knows what he's doing. And I think I think the biggest thing about Bjorkman is he can adapt from what I've seen. He can adapt a lot like Nurse uh, to whatever he has to play with. He can adapt with it. You know, uh, you give him two bigs like Miles and Sabonis, he'll have something to do. He'll know something to do with him. Um, you want to give him one big, like just put Sabonis at center and then mold the team around Sabonis. He'll know what to do there. But I think personally think Bjorkgren has a has a vision on where he wants this team to go, and I don't think he would have left Nurse um, in Toronto for just any team that he didn't think has a chance to win and win now. Uh, Bjorkgren is a coach on the rise, and I think he can, from what I've seen, from what I've seen of him talking, uh, from what I've seen of, of former players talking about him and Nurse talking about him, he can coach, and um, he really cares. He really cares about uh, his team winning and putting in maximum effort. Uh, um, so, yeah, we can expect as fans, I think we can expect a better season uh, this coming up season than we've seen from the Pacers in a long, long while. Probably since maybe uh, since the 2014 run to the Eastern Conference Finals, for all we know. Um, because we have the talent. We have the talent now. If we come in healthy, Brogdon, Sabonis, Turner, uh, Depot, TJ Warren starting five, Holiday on the bench, other Holiday too, you know. Um, Goga, if he can keep continue to progress. I think we have a chance to be really, really good this year and make an Eastern Conference Finals run. Yes, I said it. I think if, depending on what we do this offseason, we don't know if we're going to get rid of Vic or Miles. Those are the two names uh, I've been hearing the most about us maybe getting rid of. But we don't know what's going to happen. We have no idea. But if things, if with the team that we have as of right now, as of the date of Bjorgren's hiring, I believe if we keep this team entering the season with Bort, Bjorkgren, it's very hard to pronounce his name at times, Bjorkgren, Bjorkgren, uh, with Bjorkgren at coach, um, I think this team can make an Eastern Conference Finals run. I truthfully, truthfully believe that deep in my soul because I know what this team is capable of. If you look at on paper, um, I think it was coaching as well was holding them back, in my honest opinion, uh, for so long, coaching and injuries. So you give, me, you give a coach like Bjorkgren, Brogdon, Depot, Guys like Warren, guys like Sabonis and Turner, and tell him make that a, a, a playoff contender. I don't think it's going to be too much of a challenge for a guy like him, who just got a, who just got out of a situation in Toronto where they just came off a Finals appearance and win, uh, albeit with Kawhi Leonard, your second best player on that team was who Kyle Lowry or Pascal Siakam. So um, definitely cannot wait to see Bjorkgren coach the Pacers. Hopefully, I'm a, he's only 45 years old, and I hope that he's going to be the long term answer for us. I would love to have some solidarity at the head coaching position and not have to go on Twitter to see people crying, uh, crying their faces off at how bad the coaching has been uh, at, in Indiana. Um, the mainstream media will tell you that Nate McMillan, you know, was a great coach and did great for us as Pacers Twitter and Pacers fans everywhere that are really into Pacers basketball know uh, he wasn't that great of a coach. Um, and we could have went much further multiple years without him. Um, although he wasn't, I mean, he found ways to win at times, even with through injuries. I, I will give him that. I don't think he was the reason for those wins, though. Although he did have many, many good winning seasons, I do think that it was mostly the players, uh, specifically Victor Oladipo in those two All Star years, um, who was leading the team to these winning seasons. But yes, in in conclusion, I cannot wait to see Nate Bjorkgren. Hopefully, he will be a better Nate than our previous Nate uh, as the Pacers head coach. Cannot wait at all to see what he brings. Stay tuned for more content. We're going to be covering this Bjorkman hire all week. Me and Coach Jay. I'm Big Pace at Cam Major Sports on Twitter is my uh, personal info. Uh, you guys can call me Cam or you can call me Big Pace. Preferably Big Pace on Pacer Station just because that's uh, that's just my alter ego. You feel me? That's what I go by uh, when I'm running this here podcast thing. So sorry it's been a while since we uploaded, uh, you know, work and other things. And, and we was kind of waiting on the coaching hire to be completely honest with you. Uh, so now that Bjorkman has been hired, we got a lot to talk about, and we're going to talk about it all with y'all. Make sure you subscribe and let all your Pacers friends know to come here. This is the coolest, smoothest, chillest source you will find for Pacers basketball. In fact, there is probably not um, 
many other sources you can find that are going to bring you any entertainment or fun to your day while talking Pacers. So um, no offense. I love a lot of other Pacers podcasts. I love all the Pacers podcasts. I, I listen to some of them. Uh, shout out my boy Alex Golden. Uh, shout out my boy um, Sam Sinclair. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? I love these guys. I love these uh, every Pacers podcast. But I don't think any Pacers podcast, in my humble opinion, will bring you what Pacers Station brings you. Uh, in that it's something different. It's something something that um, I think a lot of uh, the younger uh, Pacers fans can can um, get down with. So, yeah, mess with, mess with it. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, subscribe below. Um, leave a like and a comment how y'all feel about the hire. I love it. A-plus hire as far as I'm concerned. I, I believe in Pritchard. And at first it was about a B-plus hire whenever I first heard the name. I knew he was an assistant of nurses, so he couldn't have been that bad of an assistant. He just won a final. So uh, B-plus hire until I, I really did my research and uh, come away with an A-plus because I really think Pr- Pritchard might have hit it out of the park with this this hire from what I've seen uh, of Bjorkgren online. So uh, Pacer Nation, Pacer Station fans everywhere, we up. Deuces.